at the current hospital, presently, I must say again proudly, that we still maintain that lead in the development of cardiology. As you know, we now at the current hospital are able to do many types of cardiovascular surgery. We have had an in-house program where we hire surgeons from outside. We have an in-house uh, surgeon where we were trained from Mauritius, uh, initially born in India, working in the US, uh, Dr. Uh, Ponoth uh, Preman, who is one of the finest uh, surgeons that we have around. And we're able to do heart surgery here in the same success, with the same success rate, at the same cost as you can have it done, say, in a place like India. And that was our target and our aim when we established current hospital. The purpose was to establish a center in Kenya and in the region that can do cardiac surgery with the same success rate as any other center in the region, including India, and with costs similar to the one that are charged there. I must thank the Kenya government through the NHIF program because they have made this possible by facilitating cover of cost for Kenya nationals to undergo heart surgery. And this is something that we must be proud of, that our own government facilitates progress in cardiac surgery by facilitating cost of the procedures for the nationals. We need to do more because I think we still use government resources to train more and more young doctors in cardiac surgery, in cardiology, and in other invasive uh, cardiology procedures. Many places in the world, cardiac treatment is now non-invasive. By non-invasive, I mean, or not usually through surgical intervention where you cut the chest open, but minimally invasive where you use, you use catheters and tubes to reach the areas in the heart that need correction. Of note is the development of coronary angioplasty. Both procedures of angioplasty and coronary stenting are well advanced now in the current hospital and the other hospitals now in the region. And we are able to do those procedures as well as anybody else in the world. And this is something we should be proud of, that the practice of cardiology has progressed to a level that we can say we are, this, we are at par with the rest of the world in the practice of cardiology. Uh, we have uh, heart surgery on a daily basis in this hospital. We do cardiac uh, investigations to include cardiac agio, cardio, uh, coronary angiograms, coronary stenting, we call PCIs, and other types of therapeutic uh, interventions like putting uh, stents in the aorta that have aneurysms, opening up mitral valves, we call mitral valvotomy, opening up other valves like pulmonary valves, uh, pulmonary valvotomy, uh, and many other procedures in the heart that we can do through the cardiac catheterization laboratory. Heart surgery now is something that we do routinely and successfully at the current hospital. We are able to handle nearly all the cardiac requirements for adults. I must say on the side of pediatrics, we are still work in progress. We still have to establish a system that can take care of very, very young children, especially infants, less than 10 kilograms of weight. And that means we still have challenges with newborns, but that is work in progress. And maybe in the next three, four years, we shall also have achieved that milestone. It is therefore very important for people who ever hear this program to know that we at the current hospital can do cardiac surgery in adults and older children with the same success rate as is done in the rest of the world. Making it therefore imperative for us to say that there will be no medical reason for you to travel abroad for cardiac surgery.